Hi, Ukulele Mike here. Londonderry Air, set to words, Oh Danny Boy. C chord. We have a C seventh. We have an F. We have an A minor. G seventh. It's in the key of C, 4-4 four, four time. We're going to use the church lick pattern with this. Down, down, up, down, down, up. Oh, Danny boy, the pipes, the pipes are calling. From glen to glen, and down the mountainside The summer's gone And all the flowers are dying It's you, it's you Must go and I must buy But come ye back when summer's in the meadow Oh, when the valley's hushed and white with snow Tis I'll be there in sunshine or in shadow Oh, Danny boy, oh, Danny boy I love you so. Now this has some fairly quick chord changes in it. Like for instance, there's one that goes from a G7th to an A minor. So I would suggest whenever you come into a place in a song where you've got really rapid chord changes, take that one little section and just isolate it and just loop it like this. It goes C, A minor, F rather G seventh rather G seventh A minor F those three chords happen twice in the song very quickly so what you're doing by repetitively looping that pattern is you're programming muscle memory into your fingers another good way to practice is forget the right hand don't strum just go through the song with the left hand only and once again isolate certain sections and just loop them over and over again until you get are comfortable with the with the chord transitions. Now another thing about chord changes when I go from a, a C to a C seventh no problem just they're single fingers but when I go to an F I've got to put down two fingers at the same time and in the initial stages of learning to play the uke most people will put down one finger and then the other but over a period of time of practice, repetitive practice, daily practice, you'll get used to just seeing the F We've got a plane going overhead here. You'll get used to seeing the F and just going right to it, both fingers at the same time. So you won't have to be thinking middle finger, index finger. And then when you go to a, a G7, well now look at this. F goes to G7 quite frequently in a lot of songs. And look at the index finger is the same for both chords, F and G7. So why not leave it down? I call that an anchor finger. You leave it down as you're pivoting over and getting your G7 chord. Uh, one of the rules in ukulele playing is don't move your fingers unless you have to. Reduce the amount of energy spent. Happy strumming.